This video is about building a large-scale CNC plotter that I want to use to transfer the contours of both parts onto sheets of plywood. Hello and welcome to my video about a CNC plotter that I want to use to transfer the contour of virtual boat parts to sheets of plywood. This can be done in two ways. Either you first transfer the outline onto the part and then cut it out, for example, with a jigsaw, or the parts are cut out directly with a CNC machine. In my internet research, I found basically three ways to transfer the lines to the wood. First, a cheap but relatively time-consuming way is lofting. Coordinates, straight lines and curved lines are transferred into full-size plans using rulers and straight edges. Second, the plans are printed out full-size and then transferred to the wood. And the third method I found is to use a CNC plotter that can transfer virtual contours to flat surfaces via G-code. And then there are CNC routers. In order to transfer the contour to plywood sheets for boats, they need to be very large. And because of their enormous size, they must be very rigid in order to work um, accurately. Due to cost reasons, I decided against a CNC milling machine. And since I'm an absolute beginner in boat building, I'm worried about a loss of accuracy in lofting. Besides, the time-consuming aspect is difficult for me to realize. A similar technique, but with much lower requirements for forces and rigidity, is to use the CNC plotter. This works like a CNC machine, but only a pen is moving. If necessary, this can be replaced by a laser at a later stage. In this video, I want to show you how I built the mechanics for this machine. The electronic components and the software I have taken from this very good video, many thanks to DIY machines. In order to drill all the holes needed for the side plates of the CNC plotter more or less accurately, I made a 3D model of a template that I later printed out. I then cut out rectangular pieces of plywood like shown in the picture. Then I fixed the template to all plates one by another with double-sided tape and a clamp. The outer blocks of this template fit perfectly to my Makita router and can be used to make the long holes. All holes as well as the long holes have a diameter of 5 mm. Then I removed the template from the wood and reused it for the other side. Then I could start the final assembly where I started with the side plates. For the motors I also drilled a 25mm hole into the side plates and then screwed them into place. I printed out 24 of these blue spacers and attached the roller wheels with M5 screws. In order to prevent the M5 screws from digging into the wood I added some M5 washers. The lifting mechanism for the pen I made out of scrap wood and parts of an old 3D printer. Here you see the dimensions of the aluminum profiles. Before I screwed it all together I put a long cable through the x-axis profile to reach the second y-axis motor. Also I tried to do some cable management with the zip ties and a cable chain. In order to prevent the x-axis cable chain from touching the ground plate, I mounted an aluminum profile to the side plates. I found some very good belt tensioners on Thingiverse and printed them out. The link to them is in the video description.
This is how the feet look like. The red bubbles mark the positions where I modified the corner connectors. As already mentioned, I used the same electronic components as shown in the video of DIY machines. The only difference apart from the dimensions is that I used two Y-axis stepper motors. This can easily be done by adding a jumper wire to the CNC shield. In order to be able to machine plywood parts, I attached chip boards on top of the cross profiles. Then I started to get everything as rectangular as possible and started the calibration. So I changed the steps per millimeter like shown in the formula. Then I added the rest of the chipboards and tightened all screws. When everything was ready, I marked the outline of the largest possible work area. Finally, I would like to show you briefly how this CNC plotter can be used.